But when you think about all the different ways you can determine how things are going with your body or your progress with your training, traditionally we use distance, time, those variables have nothing to do with what's happening with your body. Heart rate is speaking of how your body is reacting to the work you're doing. So there's really nothing more definitive than heart rate in respect to how you're training. VO2 max is essentially the maximum amount of oxygen your body can process relative to your mass in kilos per minute. If you have a really high VO2 score, that means your body is processing oxygen very well. So what this means is that someone that can process a lot of oxygen is going to do a better job accessing fat stores for energy. Think of your body like a vessel. Oxygen coming in, carbon dioxide being produced. So there's a conflict for space. As the CO2 is being developed, it begins to push away the oxygen intake. So when the CO2 begins to win that conflict for space, you go anaerobic, which means in the absence of oxygen. And what that does is shifts you into your sugar stores for energy. The problem with this is that when your body is shifted exclusively into sugar stores, that sugar storage is very limiting. You don't store nearly as much energy from sugar as your body does from fat. So the VO2 max test is essentially identifying where that shift point is between burning fat and burning sugar, and where the connection with heart rate is, is it's marked through heart rate.